Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Suki, a skilled assassin on a killing spree. She murders the majority of the members of a rival gang, before jumping out of the building, where cops surround her. Suki is apprehended by South Korean intelligence, who learned she single-handedly wiped out the entire gang. The department is considering hiring her as an agent to capitalize on her skills. After making the decision, she undergoes plastic surgery to transform her appearance into a completely new person. After recovering, Suki attempts to escape the facility, but the officers shoot her to simulate her death, and invite her to join forces with the agency. After a while, Chief Kwan Suk informs her that she is no longer visible to the outside world, but can change if she agrees to join them in exchange for freedom. She refuses the offer because she thinks of not wanting to live anymore, but Kwan Suk informs her that she is pregnant and must live for her child. She eventually accepts the offer, and begins training at the facility, where she later gives birth to a daughter named Anhe. Suki doesn't do much during training, but that changes when another trainee provokes her to fight. She astounds everyone with her incredible moves, dispatching her opponents in seconds. During her training, an officer asks her to share information about her father's killer, but she refuses, because she wants to exact her own revenge. While speaking with him, she recalls tracking down a man named Jang Chun, believing him to be the murderer. Suki fought him, but Jang Chun quickly subdued her and revealed that he was not the one who killed her father, despite being present at the scene. Soon after, Yung Sang kidnapped Suki from Jang Chun, and began training her to be an assassin. Her training reminds her of her when she was younger. Yung Sang wanted her to grow up to be a killing machine, so he put her through extensive training. Kwan Suk gives Suki her first target, and tells her that if she kills him, she will be able to leave the facility. She wants to know more about the job, but Kwan Suk tells her she can't ask any questions, and she reluctantly accepts the first job. She rides to the specified address and murders her target, but she soon discovers that the man is the father of a young girl. This reminds her of her bleak past, as she witnessed her father's murder right in front of her eyes. Suki is still thinking about the girl, but the guy's security team discovers her, and she is forced to flee. The group pursues her, but Suki escapes by jumping off the bridge, while struggling underwater. She recalls her father discovering a valuable diamond, which turned his friend Jang Chun against him. Jang Chun also witnessed Suki's father's death, before discovering her hiding under the bed, and taking her away against her will. Suki attempted to flee his car, but he became enraged and dragged her back, slapping her as punishment. Jang Chun imprisoned her, but Yung Sang rescued her from him. Suki sobs as she recalls her traumatic past, and Chief Kwan Suk picks her up from the riverbank, after she completes her first task. Suki is granted permission to leave the facility. Kwan Suk transports her and Unhei to their new home, and gives her a new identity. At the same time, Hyun Su, another agency member, is tasked with moving into the same building and keeping an eye on her. In the elevator, Hyun Su addresses her as Suki and attempts to converse with her. He also inserts a photo frame into her belongings, as an excuse for their future interactions. As the two talk, they quickly discover that they have moved into the building, and are next door neighbors. Suki informs him that her husband has gone overseas, while Hyunsu tells her about his wife, who died a few years ago. He persistently bothers Suki, who gets frustrated and asks Kwan Suk to run a background check on him. She gives Hyunsu the photo frame and inquires more about his wife, he reveals that they spent a lot of time in Yanbian, which surprises Suki, but she leaves without commenting. Later, before inviting her to dinner, Hyunsu inquires about her name. Suki introduces herself under her new identity, but declines the invitation. He grows close to her and her daughter over time, because he always looks after them. Suki is impressed by his generosity, so she invites him to see her play at a theater, which she does in order to keep her cover. He accepts her invitation and attends her performance, also taking her out to dinner. She explains how she met Young Sang, and how her necktie reminds her of her husband. On their honeymoon, while they were enjoying their time together, she told Young Sang that she was willing to abandon her revenge, in order to live a normal life with him. Soon after, Young Sang received a phone call informing him that their friend Chun Mo was in trouble, and that despite her pleas to accompany him, he went alone and died at the hands of a rival gang. Suki and Hyunsu kiss when they return to their apartment that night, but she gets a call and has to report for the next assignment. Hyunsu agrees to stay at her house and look after Unhe, while Suki leaves for work. She meets another agent, Min Yo, and they go on the next mission together. Suki steals a man's phone and copies the data, but he discovers it and threatens to kill Min Yo. Suki agrees to return the phone and diverts their attention. They get into a fight and manage to defeat their opponents, but Min Yo is fatally injured. <laughs>
Suki rushes to the car, but she is taken aback by Kwansuk's callous attitude in ordering her team to copy the data, instead of first taking Min Yo to the hospital. As they argue, Suki protests, but Kwansuk blames her for the mess. Min Yo takes her last breath in Suki's hands, and all she can do is stand there helplessly watching. She returns home exhausted from the night's events to find Hyunsu still caring for her daughter. When he sees her depressed, he approaches to console her, which draws her closer to him. Meanwhile, the hard drive data has been recovered and contains information about a gangster who used to work with Suki. When Suki's loyalty to the agency is called into question, due to her connection with him, the agency suspects she is a double agent. Kwan Suk informs the authorities that Hyunsu has been assigned to keep an eye on Suki, but he has found nothing suspicious about her. Also Suki has finally overcome her grief. She admits to lying about her background, but Hyunsu assures her that he will always be by her side, as they both have feelings for each other. She meets Kwan Suk, and asks for permission to marry Hyunsu. She is getting ready for the wedding, when another agent Kim Seon confronts her, and accuses her of being responsible for Min Yo's death. While Kim Seon is harassing her, Suki receives a phone call from Kwan Suk, who informs her of an urgent mission. Suki is told to go to the restroom, locate a hidden gun, and murder the target in the adjacent building. She draws her gun, but just as she is about to fire, she discovers that the target is Young, her ex-husband, whom she assumed was dead. She shoots at him, but fails to kill him, because she is hesitant. She tries to clarify it with Kwan Suk, but she is called away from the mission, because she is walking down the aisle. She recalls her first marriage to Young. She saw his dead body on their honeymoon and went insane. At that point, Suki broke into the rival gang's headquarters and murdered nearly everyone inside. While Jung Sang investigates the situation and discovers how Suki attempted to shoot at him through the fan in the next building, Kim Sung is assigned the mission. Although Jung Sang doesn't find her guilty, he gets suspicious, especially after learning that all of the wedding guests were paid off. He keeps an eye on Suki, and notices her having dinner with Hyunsu. Jung Sang approaches Suki's table and inquires about her past, but she pretends to know nothing about him. In the meantime, Hyunsu is talking to his boss about Suki. He is also a member of the agency, and married Suki solely for the purpose of the mission. Also, Jung Sang was never interested in her, but she had feelings for him. While talking about living a normal life with him, Suki told him that Jang Chun did not murder her father, someone else did, and she was still looking for him. Kwan Suk demands an explanation from Suki regarding her meeting with Jung Sang, but Suki informs her that he is simply a fan of her performance. Kwan Suk also chastises her for failing the mission, and warns her not to lose focus, or her family will suffer the consequences. She is given a banquet that includes a flash drive hidden inside the card. After finding a safe location, she listens to the recording of Hyunsu speaking with the boss and learns that he is an agent. She calls Jung Sang, and informs him that Kim Sung has been sent to kill him. As a result, he is ready for Kim Seon and captures her as soon as she arrives at their location. When Kwan Suk calls Hyunsu and advises him to stay with Suki, she tells him that Young Sang must die, because it is the only way Suki can live freely. Hyunsu decides to delve deeper and informs Suki that he wishes to visit his mother, he also advises her to notify him if anything happens, and she departs after declaring his love for her. He seeks information about Suki's past from the injured Jang Chun. In the meantime, Kwan Suk meets Suki and tells her that she wants her to kill Young Sang, and start a new life with Hyunsu, but she messes it all up. Suki admits to being aware of Hyunsu's being an agent. Meanwhile, Hyunsu calls Kwan Suk and inquires about Suki, because he is unable to contact her. Kwan Suk doesn't reveal anything, but says that Suki is sick and is being taken to the hospital. Later, Hyunsu returns to the apartment to care for Unhei. Suki is being transported to a different location when a bike collides with the agency's car. An intense fight ensues, during which Kwan Suk is shot, while Jung Sang saves Suki and returns her to the apartment. Suki gets out of the car and watches Hyunsu and Unhei jump out of the burning apartment. She rushes to them, frustrated, but neither of them survives the injuries after the police arrive. Suki confronts Kwan Suk about killing Hyunsu, but she denies the agency's involvement. Kwan Suk shows her video evidence of what occurred at the apartment. When Hyunsu arrived to meet Unhei, he was attacked by Jung Sang's gang which had already arrived. He accused them of faking Jung Sang's death and lying to Suki about it, but the members told him that if they hadn't done so, Suki would have discovered that Jung Sang was the one who murdered her father. The man said Jung Sang never loved Suki and only married her to fulfill her wish. They also expected Suki to be killed while avenging Jung Sang's death from the rivals, but she defeated them all by herself. Feeling trapped, Hyunsu revealed that Unhei was Jung Sang's daughter, and even spoke to him about her on the phone, 
only to be shocked to learn that Young Sang did not care about her. After running out of options, Hyunsu chose to fight the gang, but they quickly overpowered him and planted a bomb near him, which they only detonated after Suki arrived outside the building. Kwan Suk wishes Suki and Hyunsu had met under different circumstances, but it's too late now. Kwan Suk tells her that Hyunsu did not marry her for the mission, and that he grew to care about her after a while. Later, Suki keeps an eye on Young Sang's gang and engages in combat with them after defeating many members of the group. She meets Young Sang and asks if he has ever loved her. He denies it and also confesses to murdering her father. She is shocked to hear this and challenges him to a duel. They give each other a hard time and jump out the window while fighting. Young Sang's henchman informs him about the police, and takes him onto the bus that will transport the gang members to safety. Suki borrows a car from a stranger and pursues them, jumping on the bus. She clings to the bus and jumps inside, despite the gang member's best efforts to throw her out. She uses her incredible fighting skills once more, killing everyone until she runs into Jung again. They have another intense fight, both try to take the other down. Eventually, Suki grabs an axe and attacks the driver, causing the bus to crash in the middle of the road. Both get up after a few minutes. Suki is still determined to kill him, but she is hesitant, because he is the man she has always loved. Jung tries to calm her down, but she eventually kills him. She emerges from the wrecked bus. The cops surround her, but she smiles, because she has finally exacted her revenge. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.